So in this video, we're going to talk about why the moon has phases. So you've probably gone outside and seen that sometimes the moon looks like this or something similar to this, a uh, big, round, bright, and you can see the whole half of the moon that's facing us. But other times you've probably gone out and seen that maybe it looks a little something like this. Perhaps it's facing the other direction. Maybe it looks a little bit more like this in the part of the world that you're from. And sometimes you might even see that you can just sort of make out, and I'm not making this very circular, that there's a dark shadow on it too. So what's going on? Well, let's step back for a moment and look at the solar system. Let's look how the Earth and the moon are relating to the sun. So we've got our sun here. Let's take a nice pretty blue for the Earth. And of course this isn't to scale, but this is just to get the idea. And we know that the Earth is going around the sun. And the moon, let's be a nice gray here. Nope, that's not. Here's a gray. And the moon is going around the Earth. So, the Earth is also spinning, okay? And that's where we're getting our night and day. And the half of the Earth that's facing the sun is lit up, and that's the day. On the other half of the Earth that isn't lit by the, the sun, that's night. So we actually have the same thing happening with the moon. The side that's facing the sun is lit up, and the side that's not is dark. Now we don't see that because as the moon orbits the Earth, it actually is also spinning at the same time, and it keeps the same face facing us all the time. So let's move down and get a little bit more space here. Um, let's draw the Earth again. And the sun, this time we'll put it pretty far off though. So we've got the sun and it's light coming. This part is lighting up this half of the world and we're looking directly down at it. So we have the North Pole right here. So the moon is gonna be orbiting around the Earth like this. So let's draw the moon in several different positions. Okay. So here we go. So sometimes the moon is on the other side of the Earth from the sun. Sometimes it's right next to it, like in these spots. And sometimes the moon is actually between the Earth and the sun. So the sun's always lighting up the moon. So let's go ahead and put this in here. There we go. So it's orbiting around and around. Now you might be saying, wait, but that's not what it looks like from Earth. Well, we have to remember that we're actually standing right here. Let's use a different color. We're standing here somewhere on the surface, looking out and up at the moon. So what is it going to look like from the surface? Well here, we're gonna see just the lit part of the moon's face. If we're over here, we're looking, remember we're looking up at the planet, up and out. So we're gonna see half of it lit and the other half isn't going to be. Now something interesting happens here. We're looking up at the moon and half of it is lit, but we can't actually see any of that. So we're gonna see it in shadow. And then over here, we're gonna see another half moon. And remember this is from the perspective of the person standing on the planet. 
So what's happening in between here? We know that it doesn't just snap between these spots, it actually transitions slowly. And so it goes through some different phases. Let's go ahead and put these in. So what's gonna happen between, it's always gonna look like this from in space if we're looking at it from above. But what it looks like from the surface of the planet is going to be slightly different because we're looking at it like this. So let's go ahead and draw what each of these are going to look like from the person standing on the surface. So this is where we're getting these different shapes. It's because we're looking at a sphere that's half of it is being lit, but we're looking from it at it side on. So we have different names for these stages. Let's use green. So we call this the full moon. And when we can't see the moon at all, because it's between the earth and the sun, we call this the new moon. When the moon is transitioning from being new to full, this is called the waxing moon. And when it's going from full to new, it's the waning moon. Now you've also probably heard quarter moon. Well, the quarter moon is talking about these two moons. And we'll call this one the first quarter moon. And this one is the second. Now, even though they look like halves, right? You can say the half moon. It's talking about the whole cycle. So this is one quarter of the cycle. This is a quarter of the cycle, another quarter, and another quarter. One other term that you've, or two other terms rather, you've probably heard is the gibbous moon. And we have two gibbous moons. We've got two of each of these. And that's when it's this kind of strange, big, fat shape here that isn't quite full yet, but it doesn't really look, it's, you can still see the sort of opposite sliver here. And then this one we call the crescent moon. Something very important that I need to note here is that what it, here, this inner circle, this is what it looks like if we're looking down from in space. And this outer circle is what we're looking, what the moon would look like if we're standing on the surface of the planet. However, this is what it would look like if somebody was in the Northern Hemisphere. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, or if you're on the equator, it's going to look a little bit different. 